Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. Ryan Wedding, a 43-year-old former Canadian Olympic snowboarder, has been charged in a federal indictment for allegedly running a massive transnational drug trafficking organization. Wedding, who has lived in Mexico for the past 13 years, is accused of leading a group that smuggled around 60 tons of cocaine annually into the U.S. and Canada, according to federal prosecutors. The organization allegedly laundered millions through cryptocurrency and hired hitmen to kill rivals, resulting in multiple murders. Law enforcement seized over one ton of cocaine and millions in assets. Wedding remains a fugitive, with a 50,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. In other developments, the FDA has approved the Minima Stent, designed specifically for infants and young children with congenital heart defects, potentially reducing the need for multiple open-heart surgeries. Developed by Renata, the stent can grow with a child and be adjusted via a minimally invasive procedure, unlike traditional adult-sized stents that need frequent replacement. The device was recently used in a critical procedure for Raphael Wasserman, an infant with a heart defect. Doctors and families see the stent as a breakthrough, significantly easing the burden on young patients. The stent is approved for treating corktation of the aorta and pulmonary artery stenosis. In other updates, a landmark report by the Global Commission on the Economics of Water warns that human activity has thrown the global water cycle off balance, exacerbating water scarcity and threatening food production. Climate change, poor land use, and water mismanagement have stressed the water cycle, with nearly 3 billion people facing water shortages. The crisis could cut over 50% of global food output and reduce global GDPs by an average of 8% by 2050. The report highlights the importance of both blue water and green water in maintaining the water cycle. It also calls for urgent reforms, better pricing of water, and global cooperation, as disruptions in one country's water management can impact others. Without immediate action, the water crisis will accelerate climate change and deepen economic instability. In another update, scientists uncovered thriving animal communities, including tube worms and snails, living in volcanic caves beneath hydrothermal vents on the East Pacific Rise. Using the remotely operated vehicle Subastian, researchers revealed these hidden ecosystems during a 2023 expedition. The caves, filled with warm vent fluid, support life forms dependent on chemosynthetic bacteria which convert chemicals into energy. This discovery highlights the connectivity between surface and subsurface ecosystems. Researchers emphasize the importance of protecting both visible and hidden habitats from disturbances like deep sea mining, which could disrupt these fragile ecosystems. The findings were published in Nature Communications. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.